quick, leave a like and subscribe in the next 10 seconds if you guys want to be able to obtain or earn the Season 10 Battle Pass for completely free. Hit the like and subscribe button right now. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video. So in today's video, considering many people now as we stand in the final weeks of Season 9 are predominantly making videos only targeting this ending itself and the live event of which is going to occur, transitioning us from ultimately Season 9 storyline into a fresh new one for Season 10, I figured in today's video with that in mention, Season 10, that we go over a ton of information revealed by the developers or leaked from the game's files or even teasing what's going to be included not only throughout Season 10, but Season 10's Battle Pass itself. We're going to be covering a ton of information ranging from the official start date, because it's not what you think, up until cosmetics that may be included or types of cosmetics in the Battle Pass. With that said, if you guys want to learn multiple methods of which you may be able to get the Season 10 Battle Pass for free, and even teases of what will be included throughout the Season 10 Battle Pass trailer, then make sure you're sticking around and watching the full video to get all of this information. Guys, really quickly before we make a start on any of that information, I'd quickly like to disclaim that we're so, so close to half a million subscribers, so everybody watching the video right now who isn't already subscribed, if you subscribe it would make a huge difference, and obviously, turning on the post notification bell once subscribing will keep you in the loop as soon as I upload new videos regarding what's going on right now, transitioning into Season 10, whether it's the Battle Pass information, or things going on in the island to ultimately shape the map. I'm also currently running right now a free 2800 V-Bucks giveaway until July 20th, 2019. Feel free to use these on any item shop cosmetic or even the Season 10 Battle Pass with additional 25 tiers the Battle Bundle and here's how you guys can enter for a chance to win and walk away with these V-Bucks on July 20th. All you need to do is leave a like in this video down below, subscribe to the channel with the post notification bell turned on so you never miss a future upload when I upload whatever I upload and actively use code Friendly Machine in the item shop, make sure you check in every two weeks to see if this is automatically reset and if this is the case then re-enter it and the code in case you guys happen to forget it will remain on screen throughout this full video duration in the top left hand corner so good luck to everybody who'd like to enter. Anyways with all of that out of the way now let's hop into our first piece of season 10 information which may actually surprise you guys considering the release date may not be when you actually thought considering many people will only regard season 10 start for when the season 9 battle pass timer ends which is actually a wrong interpretation of when Season 10 will officially start. I actually contacted an Epic Game employee myself, considering on the website it states August 1st, however if you add up the 19 days left on the Battle Pass timer as of now, July 4th, at the time of me recording this video, this then lands on July 23rd, meaning that after this Battle Pass timer ends, the day after, Season 10 should start on July 24th. And obviously with the website regarding this different date and even the PlayStation event when you go to sign up to say your participation participating in Season 9, it also states August 1st, I then as just mentioned, contacted an Epic Games employee who further confirmed that because of the World Cup and everything going on right now in Fortnite, ultimately making everything very exciting, they're extending Season 9 from July 24th when the Battle Pass timer is said to end on to August 1st as the official website states and also the event for Season 9 that you can say you're attending on the PlayStation menu. Not only is this information very publicly important for you guys to interpret considering many people may be rushing their tears right now before July 24th or when the Battle Pass timer is stated to end it, it's also important because of the fact many people actually plan around these seasons releasing so they know they're going to have time to hop on and grind as soon as they publicly go live. Either way, it's safe to say that this date won't be changing from being further pushed back from July 24th to August 1st as confirmed by an Epic Game employee. Moving on to our next piece of information directly regarding the Season 10 Battle Pass and what potential it may offer us in terms of unlocks, we have stated in the Season Season 9 Battle Pass as we did in the Season 8 Battle Pass, that if we obtain Tier 2, we get an additional extra 30% XP boost in the Paid Battle Pass toward our next XP bonus for the next season. Just in case you guys don't know what this means, well ever since Season 9 started, if you had the Paid Battle Pass or the Full Battle Pass should I say in Season 8 because that was free and earnable through overtime challenges in Season 7, you could obtain this extra additional Tier 2 30% XP boost, allowing us in Season 9 to obtain a total upon tearing up all the way to Tier 100 of 150% XP boost. Usually before in prior Season Battle Passes, we typically saw that this Tier 2 reward would entail us having 
wondering if we bought the next battle pass, a 5 free tier start, but now it's transitioning to this XP boost meaning that season 10, if it has 100 tiers total, will allow us to have an additional 150% XP boost from gaining all the tiers or tearing up all the way to 100. It's definitely safe to say considering season 10 is the 10th seasonal anniversary of Fortnite going into double digits for seasonal numbers that we may be seeing a tier increase because we've previously seen this between the first ever battle pass release season 2 and season 3's transition from tier 70 being the max tier in season 2 to then tier 100 being the max tier in season 3. Since then we've never seen it change and ultimately the time to change it would be now considering we're seemingly getting a fresh revamp to Fortnite in season 10. Many of you guys may be sat there wondering what I mean by having a fresh revamp to entail the start of season 10 of Fortnite. Well, hear it from Donald Mustard right here when he stated at some point we'd be definitely getting a new map in Fortnite completely fresh from what we've ever seen before. Not a matter of change locations, a matter of a complete new Battle Royale Arena, and what better time to implement this other than the start of the double digit season, season 10, the 10th seasonal anniversary of Fortnite, and I'll roll a clip right now so you guys have 100% confirmation that this is true. Yeah, you got those two guys down there. Um, okay, we've had some questions about, is there ever gonna be a new map? For for uh, battle royale, kind of like PUBG's done with the desert map or whatever. Is there gonna be something else in the future, or are you just gonna kind of tool around with this one? Uh, there will definitely be uh, a new map at some point. Surely most of you guys agree that we're due a fresh map update in Fortnite and the perfect time to do it would be now toward the end of Season 9 and the start of Season 10. This is furthermore confirmed by what the live event is going to be to end off Season 9, ultimately concluding the storyline as we know, as previously mentioned, written out ever since Season 4, all the way up until now, the end of Season 9, which is going to be a giant battle between this fully constructed robot that's seemingly being built more so every day at Pressure Plant and the Polar Peak Monster, which upon commencing in, may destroy our entire Fortnite island. This has also been implied as well as revealing at the same time a skin in the Season 10 Battle Pass being stranded Jonesy through this Fortnite animation. As you can see, he appears to be stranded on some sort of very small island almost as if the other island is non-existent or completely destroyed. And obviously we know that this will be included throughout the Season 10 Battle Pass most likely, considering variants of the default skin such as Bunker Jonesy have been added to the Season 9 Battle Pass as one of our outfits that we can unlock. With all these changes in mind, the potential to have a new map for Season 10 and additional amount of tiers to earn past 100, the Battle Pass price will remain the same. Here's why. While well, Season 2's Battle Pass only went up to 70 tiers and cost 950 V-Bucks, and every Battle Pass since then has always cost that for the standard Battle Pass. The Battle Bundle, however, which rewards you with the Battle Pass and additional 25 tiers for a kickstart boost, costs 2800 V-Bucks, and obviously, if we have the overtime challenges implemented in Season 9 to then earn, upon completion of said amount of overtime challenges a free Season 10 Battle Pass, this will knock the traditional standard price of the normal Battle Pass 950 V-Bucks off the Battle Bundle if we wanted to then purchase it, making it a cheap total of 1850 V-Bucks. With Epic Games never expecting Fortnite to grow in terms of popularity to anywhere near of what it remains as now, they may thank us by allowing us to earn, through overtime challenges or something other, similar of the sort, a free Season 10 Battle Pass as we've previously seen earnable the free Season 8 Battle Pass. If this does not happen, there is a confirmed way still to get the Season 10 Battle Pass for completely free. This method actually requires us to do something in real life rather than in the game and that is to attend the 3 day event of the Fortnite World Cup from July 26th to 28th 2019. Obviously the article on screen is from Epic Games on their official website themselves that will be linked in the video description down below for a credible source in case you guys don't believe this screenshot and states that fans who attend this event and must be present will obtain free V-Bucks and a free Season 10 Battle Pass. With us knowing also because of the occurrence of the Fortnite World Cup and it's starting around this time ultimately extending Season 9 into overtime, we may be seeing some overtime challenges during this overtime period for the extension of Season 9 and ultimately delaying the start of Season 10, allowing us to earn in-game even a free Season 10 Battle Pass, which would be very generous 
and very nice of Epic Games to consider the players who perhaps can't attend this event in real life to then obtain a free Season 10 Battle Pass and obviously give us the option to earn it in game whilst also supporting in some way shape or form the World Cup event. With all that said now the only thing left to go over in this video that's leaked from the files in terms of what could be included within the Season 10 Battle Pass are the new types of cosmetics. If you guys don't know what I'm referring to here, well every new season we typically get something newly implemented that we've never seen before in a prior battle pass or a prior season. For instance, this season I believe it's the loopable emotes that are new like the Kluxtra emote or something like that. Either way, that's besides the point. One more pinnacle one would be to mention Season 7 with the implementation of wraps. And here are 5 new leaked cosmetics thanks to Hypex on screen right now that have been in the files for quite some time. As you can see this tweet was put out there on April 5th 2019. These brand new cosmetic types consist of hats, taunts, victory poses, calling cards and battle buses. The most interesting thing about these however is that they're in game in the files as an asset right now as confirmed by a guy who put a video out somehow gifting himself a winter bus and obviously the fact that this particular variant the winter version or the Santa battle bus has a name confirms furthermore that obviously they're a cosmetic type or category in the files that literally could be put into the game from just a flick of a switch or the flick change into a new season. Either way that's all the information we have as of now regarding the newly released Season 10 Battle Pass on August 1st. If you enjoyed today's video at any point or found it interesting then make sure you're leaving a like on the video down below or if you want to keep referring back to it because I know we broke down a ton of information in today's video that you guys couldn't perhaps maybe interpret in your first watch and saving it to the liked playlist makes it very easy to re-access. Also make sure you're subscribing to the channel down below to stay up to date with the most recent developments made in terms of map progression towards season 10 or what's going to be contained throughout the battle pass or anything as a whole that's leaked from the files regarding season 10 or the battle pass in particular. Hopefully I can recognise you guys from staying active in the comment section of my future videos and I'm out. Have an amazing rest of your day or night wherever you are whenever you are watching. Have a good one, take it easy and as always, peace.